You need the cloth more than I do. You can have it all, said Yusaku. He gave the princess all three pieces of cloth. The princess was so grateful that she gave Yusaku, Yusaku a big bag of gold. Yusaku walked home to his village carrying the gold. He saw some poor, hungry people in their huts. They need this gold more than I do, he said. Yosaku used the gold to buy land for all the people in his village. Now they could raise their own food. No one would go hungry. Isn't this a great picture of the village? And you can see their farmers. And you can see their ter these are terraces. They've built into the, into the side of the mountain. They've created farmland, flat farmland, out of the mountain, going all the way up the side there. And all because I saved a piece of straw, said Yusaku. This was truly my lucky day. The people in Yusaku's village were very happy. After that, they always called Yusaku Mr. Lucky Straw. Okay, now who wants to share with us what they think the lesson or the moral of this story is? What I would say is that this story shows how if you look on the bright side, if you don't get down when bad things happen, and if you look for opportunities to put things to good use, and if you share your gifts with other people, then good things are going to happen to you. But the best thing that can happen to you is for you to do things for others. If you share things for if you share your gifts with other people, you will be rewarded. And Yosaku's reward in this story isn't the bag of gold and it's not the oranges. It's not the dragonfly. His reward is that he has the respect and admiration of the people he lives with because he respects them and shares his gifts with them. Okay, let's go out to recess.